four-cylinder with a six-speed automatic gearbox. That got some technical upgrades for a faster warm-up and improved performance. It checks in at 185 horsepower and 178 foot-pounds of torque. There's also a smaller 1.6 liter 4 made into a 7-speed transmission which will be offered as an eco model to help buff up the nameplate's fuel economy ratings. It delivers 177 horsepower and 195 foot-pounds of torque. But if you want to tear up the pavement, then the 2 liter turbo is what you want. There are 245 horses in this block and 260 foot-pounds of torque. In a few hours behind the wheel, it was evident that the ride and handling have been improved. We did notice that when the drive mode was changed from eco to normal to sport, both the power plant and suspension settings were modified in unison. Hyundai is also trying to load the car with features and options once associated only with luxury vehicles. So don't be surprised to find it offers park assist, blind spot detection, and lane change assist. Like every other automaker, the company is racing to keep the infotainment system current, offering Apple Play and Google Android Auto applications. And that's not all. Also, destination search has been improved. Uh, now, all destination searches, POIs, are powered by Google's search engine. And in addition, you could, once you download a POI, you could use a smartphone app or log on to myhyundai.com and send that destination straight to your car. It is apparent that Hyundai continues to push the midsize segment to deliver more content for buyers who want it all, but don't want to spend that much to get it. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.